Chum FM. I like your style. All about style. Please welcome Steve Forberg. You know him from this great store called Decorium, and you've been in business for how long? Over 30 years. Over 30 wow. years. That's, That's like amazing. Three generations Congratulations on that one. Thank you. Thank That's you. amazing. Incredible. So we're giving away a big prize tomorrow. We sure are. And that's how much? How much are we giving? Ten thousand dollars of furniture at Decorium. That's pretty amazing. So if 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 someone was to win, and they will tomorrow, would it be a good idea to bring in like a floor plan and some pictures and things like that? Absolutely. Whatever they can bring in, to provide our sales associates with the the vision of their space will help us put that space together for them. Floor plans, pictures, color schemes, anything of that sort. That's great. And what you're talking about today, too, is some uh, trends that are happening in 2012. First one up, you're saying, is tufted furniture. Let's talk about that. Yes, tufted furniture is very in vogue today with uh, tufted headboards. We've all seen them in different shelter magazines, tufted benches, tufted sofas, Mm -hmm. accent chairs. Um, Anything with that tufted appeal gives it a, a timeless feel. And it's something that in any space today, will give an element of, of glamour. Yeah. I had a tufted headboard on my round bed. Are round beds back in vogue? I haven't seen a round bed. No. Okay. <laughs> Let me know. I'd like to get one. No well, problem. Well, you'll get right on that right away. Okay. Yeah, they don't feel the same and give them. <laughs> it's a classic look for sure. Now, mirrored furniture, like side tables that are mirrored, that's really great. Very great today. Sideboards, accent pieces, uh, side tables for these tufted headboards. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are mixing and matching fabric with mirrored pieces. Right. You don't want to over mirror your home. No. It gets a little too uh, too mirror. much, yeah. Uh, but a, a little piece of mirror here and there gives a, a real splash of glam. You tell people what a sideboard is, just in case they don't. Sideboard's know. Sideboard's almost like a credenza. It's a four four door or four drawer uh, buffet kind of piece that you put mm-hmm. in a dining room or in a living room, um, or you can put even put a TV on it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, even in a bedroom or something yes. like that. You do it that way. And then when we get back to the mirrored uh, pieces, like just maybe one or two are balanced in some way in the room, right? A- absolutely. Okay. Don't, you don't want to overdo it. You don't overdo. And you know they thought that that those mirrored mirrored things were going to go away. When they came back in, it was very, uh, Art Deco is like, okay, they're not going to last very long. They're now considered a classic piece. Absolutely. Love that. It's timeless. Yeah. Rustic and industrial rustic. So what's a different, what is rustic and what do you mean by industrial rustic? Rustic is mixing uh, wood pieces with metal. So Mm -hmm. for example, uh, this came out about two years ago. You saw it uh, uh, quite a bit in in various magazines. It's, It's raw wood. Mm-hmm. mixed with industrial metal. You see coffee tables today with uh, barn wood tops, but with metal wheels mm-hmm. or metal bases. These types of pieces are very eclectic. The, the reclaim wood. Reclaim wood. You have yeah. one online on your website that actually looks very, very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It almost looks like it's wheels off an old old stretcher That's or something what it like is. that. Is it? It is. It is. And these, these pieces came originally two, three years ago into the marketplace. They were old barn doors, old hulls of ships. So cool. They used them to, to, to put as reclaimed furniture pieces. But today they're being mass produced. Yeah. So mm-hmm. to lower the cost. Where do you go shopping for furniture for decorium? I'll go all over the world. I've been <gasps> to uh, Europe, Asia, uh, in the United States, and all over Canada as well. We're trying to do as much as we can do within our own country in Canada uh, today. And the quality in Canada is obviously more superior to what you can find. Which is great. And what's, the what's the square footage in your store? 100,000 square foot wow. store, one of the largest independent retailers Who in Canada. It? Who cleans wow. that? <laughs> we have a company, oddly enough, that, that takes care of that. That would have been my mom saying, well, who's going to dust all of that? <laughs> it is exactly. a big job. You know, it's nice to have the space, but uh, who's going to clean store? those windows? store is uh, located just north of Finch off of Dufferin. So we're just south of Yorkdale, or now, north of Yorkdale, sorry. Bright colored furniture, it used to be like the neutral tones, the gray, the beige, the off-white. So now you're saying color is back in. Now, it's not like a whole bunch of furniture that's colored. It's, again, it's like the mirrored furniture accent pieces. Absolutely, absolutely. You want to stay with your neutrals on your bigger items, your your taupes, your earth tones. Uh, grays are hot today and purples are hot today. But if you want to infuse some color of green or turquoise, bright pink, red, uh, on some accent pieces, whether it's in your rug, your accessories, or an accent chair, that we seem to see uh, as an emerging trend of splash of color. What's a great, what's a, of, of all the stuff that you have in the store, what do you think is the best investment piece? Probably your sofa and bedroom. Yeah? Yeah. Those are the, those are the places you spend the most time. So to invest in, in, in a good quality bedroom set or a good quality sofa or sectional, 
uh, even a kitchen table and chairs. Mm-hmm. The pieces you touch every day mm. are the pieces you should invest more of your more of your uh, your mm-hmm. dollars into. And because you have different categories to a decorium, uh, you you uh, it sounds like that you want us to kind of break up the sets a little bit. Like you get a headboard and then just do a different kind of you know chest of drawers sort we, of thing. Well, the store is laid out in different categories based on lifestyles. Yeah, of classic wanna, and traditional, okay. contemporary and and country and urban, all s- lifestyled out that way. But we have a lot of people today that'll buy a traditional chest with a with a modern bed or or a mirrored piece with a uh, traditional bed. So yes, the store can be mixed and matched in any which way to to create your eclectic look. That's you, great. Your store is different from others in as much as you're really five stores under one roof with a hundred thousand square feet, and you have the in-store consul- consultation. Yeah, that's helpful. Where you can get some. A- uh, absolutely. You can pick your advice. own fabrics and everything. Pick like your that own too? fabrics. Customize your own sections. We'll build it to fit your space. Oh, that's great. We can do all of that. We're we're large enough to bring great value but we're also small enough to care. This is Decorium we're talking about, and we're giving away a $10,000 shopping spree at Decorium tomorrow morning. You have until about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning to qualify to make yourself eligible for the draw we'll make. Go to chumfm.com, and you'll see it there. Decorium, $10,000 shopping spree tomorrow, and it's uh, Steve Forberg here who has uh, provided us with it. Thank Thank you you. so much. Thank you. Steve from Decorium.